to put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Alex, I'm Kenny. I'm Fernando. And today is National Girl Scout Cookie Day. So make sure to get your Girl Scout cookies. Let's get right into them. Hill Morning News. March, Model, Madness. All right, Hawks, as you know, we are in the middle of March Motto Madness, where all of our grade levels are competing to see who knows our Hawks have class motto the best. If you take a look at the screen, you'll see that we have our grade levels in brackets, freshmen versus sophomores, and juniors versus seniors for our first bracket. At the end of this week, we will assess the data and see which two grade levels move on to bracket two. Again, the grade level with the highest percentage of awareness of our half class motto and what it means, character, leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service, will win a 10 minute extended lunch next month. With just a few days into March Motto Madness, let's take a look at current standings. As you can see in our chart here, it is a close race, but freshmen are in the lead, followed by our juniors, sophomores after that, and seniors, you are trailing behind. Now, if those standings got you itching for some competition, let me tell you how to earn some more points so that your grade level can win our March Motto Madness. So throughout our competition, there are three ways that you can earn points for your grade level. The first way is going onto Google Classroom and filling out the March Motto Madness Google form. In that form, all you need to do is tell me what half class stands for. Another way that you can potentially earn points is by following our Citrus Hill PBIS Instagram and filling out any half class questionnaires that pop up there. And finally, the quickest and easiest way to earn points for your grade level is by finding me throughout nutrition, passing periods, and especially lunchtime to earn points for your grade level by telling me what half class stands for. Look for me at the lunch tables throughout the week. I'll be set up there and come on up, bring your friends. You can do this every day. There are no limits to how many points that you can earn for your grade level. So up until the end of the month, see me every day to earn that additional point. So remember, character, leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service are what we're looking for around campus. Have fun, good luck, and have class. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Hawk Center. Center. I'm Brad Inman. I'm Jordan Zamora. Let's get straight to it. Baseball is 6-2 and two after a close loss to Liberty on the road last Tuesday, and their game Thursday was rescheduled due to the rain. They have another big week this week as they play undefeated Talkwitz today and Thursday. If they can win both, they'll be in a good spot in the league standings. Softball kicks off league play this week with games against Liberty, Paris, and Talkwitz. They, they play at home today and Thursday with hopes to start off league play strongly. Track and field is 2-0 and has a home meet against Liberty tomorrow. Boys volleyball is 4-3 and, and has two league matches this week. They're already 1-0 in league as they look to stay unbeaten. Boys Golf has a match every day for the week except Friday as they look to stay hot on the links. Boys Tennis is 4-1 off to a good start and they have their second league match against West Valley today at home. Both the boys and girls swim teams are 4-0 and will host Liberty in a meet tomorrow. Make sure to support your Hawks these upcoming events. Good luck to all athletes. That's it for today in Hawk Center. Go Hawks! Hey Hawks, I'm Cole. I'm here to talk about a fire presentation going on this Friday, March 15th. It's gonna be open for all grades, still open for third and lunch. Interested in a career firefighting? Come stop by the College and Career Center to reserve your spot. That was a real knee slapper, wasn't it? Bam, uno. Uno, uno, out. Dang, 
Hey Hawks, um, just want to let y'all know that the library will be hosting an UNO tournament consisting of five days from the 18th to the 22nd. During those five days, the final top five players will compete on Friday to win a surprise. And on March 14th, that will be the last day to sign up. So go get your signups now. That's it. Until next time. Hey Hawks, what the selling spring grams from March 7th and April 5th for $4 in the quad and room 520 during lunch. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Nick, and today we're going to be asking Citrus Hill students to guess logos. All right, first up is Lexi. And we're going to be giving her 20 seconds to guess 10 logos. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, ready? Start the timer. So, gas station. Um, oh, I don't know what that is. Target, Apple, uh, Pringles, Taco Bell, Adidas. I don't know what that Pepsi. Pepsi? Yeah, I think that's Pepsi. I don't know. Monster. Uh, PlayStation, Pizza Hut, Amazon. <laughs> That's your timer. <laughs> Why is that your Hey Hawks, I'm Samantha. Today for Women's History, I'll be talking about Camila Harris. In the heart of Washington, D.C., Camila Harris stands as a beacon of progress and determination as she strides through the corridors of power. Her influence is undeniable. The modern vice presidency is a position of significant power and is widely seen as an integrational part of the president's administration. While the exact nature of the roles variety in each administration, most modern vice presidents serve as a key president advisor, governing partner, and representative of the president. Not only have I shattered the glass ceiling, she declares with a sense of pride, as the first vice president, female vice president, but I also have woven a rich tapestry of diversity, being the first vice president of South Asian heritage. Her words echo through the walls, inspiring a new generation to dream without limits. Camila Harris is famous for breaking new grounds as the first female vice president of the United States. She is also celebrated for being the first vice president of South Asian de descent, making her symbol of America a diverse fabric. That is it for me, bye Hawks. Once again, Hawks, I'm Kenny. I'm Fernando. Now is the Hill Morning News. Bye, Hawks.